Hey, good morning, everybody. So we are on the end of day four of our project. We're gonna wrap up today. Before we get started today, oh boy, look at this spread. This looks incredible. Wouldn't it be nice if all of our customers own a little bed and breakfast? Look at this spread. Oh yeah. Welcome back and good morning, or I guess I should welcome myself back. So we are on day three of the project. I don't know if you guys can tell out there, but it's a little misty, high overcast day, uh, low ceiling. We did manage to finish up the waterfall back here. Let me walk over the tarp and show you that. So this waterfall is all finished up there. They'll be able to see that from the house over here. That's the owner's residence. Waterfall into a pooling area, and then a split waterfall going down into the pond there. So now what we're focused on today and really hoping that we can make a lot of progress on is this dry creek bed you can see nick over there putting in the stack slate urn right there we do have a light in the top of that this is going to provide that vertical element and that interest up here and then we've got a waterfall down in here that the water from this pooling area and the urn will overflow and start out this stream down and through here really going to focus on finishing out this stream or getting at least as far as we can today before the weather uh, tells us otherwise that's the game plan for this morning until the inevitable rain gets back here day three at lincoln way in it's probably two thirds 33 o'clock rain has been uh, kind of peppering on us all day long uh, finally stopped which is allowing us time to put in a seam let me take you over here to Nick Chris and Matt and show you what's going on we try to avoid doing this whenever possible and get a white liner wide enough and earlier we talked about having a 15 foot wide liner to allow us to do this twist and turn through here with this huge twist that we did kind of in this space here our liner ends up being about four feet short so we had this scrap piece and uh, we just need to seam on right here because I really didn't want to bring this in it would completely change the shape of our stream so we're doing a double seam this is our four inch seam tape it's a double sided tape uh, you can see we have a two by ten board underneath which gives us a nice rigid hard surface to work on once that's down then they line up the factory cut edge right up with this seam tape they'll put that on and then we'll cover come over the top of that with some cover tape so I'll show you that as they start getting into it things are turning out really good found some logs sometimes we run out of stone and we've got to improvise a little bit we've just took some stuff that they had in a pile way over here brought over here this is important it holds back all this dirt it also needs to kind of help define the pathway from here to this area back to these stepping stones going across you can see Juan over here sitting next to another log feel like we're really really close on our stone so we found this big piece we've carved it into place to sit here and go all the way back up into there which would normally take about another ton and a half to two tons of stone to do that section so we'll have hopefully now some extra to go back in through here uh, also breaks up all this boulder 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 look the only thing I don't really like about this piece is the sawed off edges and that's why we carved it into place so we can actually try to bury some of those areas that are cut off stream is looking good found a couple flat stones left these are gonna be our other stepping stones coming across right here again that path pathway goes around and then we'll have stepping stones right there go back to that log and then back over in there we got this stream and waterfall pretty much buttoned up and through here the urn is in place remember the whole intent of that urn is to draw attention from uh, the other side of the truck and pull people from that outdoor living space over there all the way to back here it'll look fantastic next to this little sitting room by the gazebo too so really cool project we've got probably another hour or so before the second storm comes through so I'm not terribly optimistic about finishing today but a uh, hundred percent finish it tomorrow so they got the other liner prepped so primer goes down first then the seam tape now Chris is peeling off the backing of that seam tape this is the other liner he's got that with primer on it now he'll take that over really slow making sure no air bubbles or anything get in there and then that just gets applied right to the seam tape job usually done with three guys you can see Juan holding the one side straight Matt's making sure the liner stays nice and straight and bubbles and stuff don't get in there and then Chris pulls back that backing and then we'll show you the cover tape going on next so <laughs> This is what you have to do when the rain comes and you want to do a seam. Luckily we have the tarps. There's four guys underneath here. Let's see if we can get a sneak peek. What's going on? We've got our tent pole, AKA Matt. Yes. <laughs> so the four inches down, now the six inches coming back across. That'll run the duration all the way up into about where I'm standing. 
So the key is just to do uh, a little bit at a time, especially with the rain here. If you continue to uh, clean all at once, especially with the rain, you'll end up just cleaning it over and over. So I usually do a foot, two feet at a time, and then repeat. But we should be able to get it it's looking good. And most importantly, this allows us to keep our design. Well, I hope you guys uh, got enough of that B-roll and now you want to see the finished products. It turned out absolutely incredible. We're still filling the pond. Water level still has to raise probably another four and a half to five inches. Gorgeous, gorgeous waterfall that they can see from the house, which I am standing from that vantage point. Falls into this pooling area, then ends up splitting around a couple of rocks here. I love the way this waterfall turned out. There's a natural high spot in that boulder right there, the spillstone. So you get a little on the right, a little on the left. And then obviously you can see the split right there on the right hand side i love the shape of the pond really really neat how some of these like flat little plant pocket areas are included in the edge treatments that'll be a great place so will that for some maybe some taller aquatics we also have a spot back over there behind those cobbles where we could plant something maybe with some height to help scale down that big frame rock right there i love this flat stone you can actually sit on it and your feet can go all the way down to the bottom without touching any rock or gravel this is a deep section right here and then there's a shelf i know it's really hard to see a shelf right there that has about 18 inches of water on this side and then it goes down to the three feet down at the bottom really really neat shape love the steppers they just turned out really nice i love how the um they twist and turn through here so it's, you hop here then you hop over there then you hop back there and then there's a pathway leads you all the way around back through at some point an entrance leading you to and from the garden to the carriage house and then to the main house which is on the other side of the carriage house look at this really neat waterfall that brian was explaining earlier in the video it's got a natural load depression in the rock so it's just almost a big pitcher right in the middle of that rock take a look at the movement of the stream from that cross-section profile the lateral profile of the stream it twists and turns around the boulders really really neat effect you can see how crucial that log was that we put in for the edge treatment how it just totally frames out that edge but what it also does is it frames out this little gravelly beach area but it also frames out the waterfall more interactivity there's some more rock out in the middle of the stream you can see how this thing twists and turns so it goes around doubles back on itself comes back over another little beach area in through here and then a little bit more unique waterfall uh, coming out of that upper pooling area and then of course you have the stack slate urn which gives that vertical element i love this big rock on the side to help scale down the size of that urn without the urn that rock would look out of place without that rock that urn might look a little too tall remember folks it's all about scale and you can just see how the stream twists and turns back and forth and back and forth. Really, really great movement. This is exactly what you would see in nature. So we have now finished with our part of the project. Now it's up to Lisa and her gang to finish landscaping the rest of it and making this the oasis that it's intended to be here at beautiful Lincoln Way Inn. I'm out here in, in gorgeous Franklin Grove gorgeous and quiet Franklin Grove, Illinois. If any of you guys are ever in this neck of the woods, halfway between Chicago and the Quad Cities, I would highly, highly encourage you guys to stop on out. They have beautiful abodes for you to stay and enjoy your time here and get a little R&R &R and some peace and quiet out here.
here away from the hustle and bustle of your daily life. We are super happy to be able to give this gift to them because they give the gift of peace and serenity to so many others on a daily basis. So we are just incredibly blessed to be a small part of, of helping John and Lisa again create that ambiance here for their guests. I think we nailed it, did a great job. A little bit muddy last night, so it looks a little rough on the edges, but that'll all be graded out once things kind of dry out and they get the landscaping in. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and comment if you have any questions down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel and then click that little bell so you can get all the little updates when we put new content out. Chris from Team Aquascape, peace and out, peace and hair grease, peace out Girl Scout, whatever you want to say. <laughs> Bye.